From the vine. From the vine will be screened at the Four Lord. And I'm going to get called out for everything. You I understand. don't yell oh. at all in this movie. It's a comedy. Are you it's doing a fable? No, I'm actually from Australia. Look, <laughs> no, that's so true. <laughs> <laughs> I think I'm Italian. The Italian New York. They are as Jewish. <laughs> but you know, Italians were very big in the 70s. No, the movie looks like a, a wine movie, which you know I, I love anyway. The whole it is concept. a wine movie, yeah. yeah. But all I know Why is, do you love uh, that it's a wine movie? Well, you know, I, one of my favorite wine movies was Bottle Shock, and I love that one, and I love the uh, Sideways, and mm -hmm. I love wine. But you're, you're, yeah, you're, I'm Sicilian, so it's part of my. Oh, nature. I thought you were Italian. <laughs> I'm from <laughs> Italy. I'm Italian from Italy. Uh, By the way, I'll, let me just give you a little backstory about you, your and your talents. You may don't know about this, so. I have a friend who's an actor as well, and his name is Billy Gardell. He's on, uh, he was on Mike and Molly, and now he's on a CBS show called Bob Hart's Abishola. And he was at the house, and there was, the wives weren't around. He was visiting, and he goes, come on, let's watch me and Ira. And we sat on the couch, and we howled at your character. Eddie, Eddie Marscone, I guess it was, in Midnight Run. So you have the respect of not only the fans, but other actors just think you're just unbelievable. Well, tell, I'll tell your friend, thank you very much. Now, that's one story. Do you have your cell phone on you? Uh, yes. You gonna give it a shot? In 2006, <laughs> Joey Pants gave me his number. <laughs> I'm calling it right now. Let's see if it rings. There's no way it's the same number. I don't think so. Is it ringing? <laughs> Let me see. What do you got today? It's not even ringing. We're calling We're calling call call someone. Call answers. <laughs> Oh, no. That's well, it's not you. It's not ringing. Oh, well, let's you, see who answers. Well, I don't know. It's on the radio. Yeah, no, yeah, no. There's a, a legal issue. There's a, <laughs> what was Joe? It's Joe Mantegna. <laughs> <laughs> all right, I'm all right. There you go. Is this one? Is this all numbered? Yeah, that's hysterical. That was his burner phone. Oh, that's that. No, that was uh. Boy, that's a long time. And I'll tell you, <laughs> no, it was the last time you were in town for the Fort Lauderdale International Film Festival. But I'll tell you. The reason I, you gave me the number was I was going to New York City in a couple of weeks, and I was like, "Where do I eat?" And you said, "Go to this place called Patsy's." They love it. Oh, you're cool. Oh, oh they oh, updated. Look at that. Oh. By the way, isn't it isn't it nice, Joey, that I didn't? I didn't what do you want? <laughs> <laughs> that I did not abuse the privilege of having right. your number. I didn't want to. Yeah. Thank you, God. But I know because I'm an annoying guy. But uh, but uh, so oh, Pat, Patsy's was wonderful. Patsy's is wonderful. You still go there? Uh, yeah, yeah, absolutely. Uh, we'll talk off here where I should, where I should go next time. Yeah. Well, David Burke, you know, David Burke, he just opened up a nice pizzeria downtown, and he's mm -hmm. got, he's got, a, I, I go to his place a lot. I, uh, he's got a Tavern 62 on the east side that, I, you know, I, mm -hmm. you so, like bacon, I love this. Oh, wow, come on. <laughs> There's a place in Miami called New York, uh, called the Prime 112. It's probably where all the celebrities go. It's the, oh, I've been there. Been, okay. So at the bar, instead of having beer nuts, they have bake, perfectly cooked bacon in a like in a glass, and, and it's just like you sit there and you're like, oh, this is so much better than eating nuts. <laughs> With a big hunk of bacon and a martini. What Bake does, uh, what Bake does, what what what, <coughs> what David does um, is he puts it on a clothesline. He makes this clothesline, and then he takes one of those, you know, flamers that mm -hmm. you, you do the caramelizing. Yes. Yeah. And he and he torches the bacon individually, every Ooh. piece of bacon. It's really good. But I can ask and he, you, gives you a, he gives you a scissor. So you, oh, you just cut it? Yeah. Oh. Well, I, I can ask you as an Italian-American to name a restaurant. You could rattle off 15. I'm an American of Italian descent. I love that. Italian, too, so I, guess. I guess we all are. Yeah. But Paul Mercurio, who's another comic, was in yesterday. And I asked him, and he's like, oh, let me do some research for you. I go, how come an Italian has to do research to tell me what restaurant you go to? Bastard. Yeah, I'm saying that because he's listening right now. Um, Joey, when you were in town shooting Bad Boys... Three. The three. Have you been here in Miami shooting it? Yeah, yeah, we yeah we shot it. Uh, I was there in April. Oh, it's yeah. a while ago. Yeah, you forget. It's coming out in two months. Yeah, yeah, that's great. February seventeenth. So describe yourself. I mean, I said yesterday to the guys, I go, this is truly a working actor, like a character actor. You've done what, two hundred films, something like that. <laughs> wow. I, I like to I like to just stick with the good ones, and I can just say the seven. <laughs> <laughs> You know something? Eric Roberts was in one time. By the way, yes. I don't want to talk about Eric no, Roberts. No, but I love Eric Roberts, but I'm here to promote myself. I understand my that. Movie. So, you know. So, <laughs> so, but from the vine. He okay? said, I want to work. And I, let, I mean, you just decided one day as an actor, like, I'm going to work. I want to work all the time. No, I decided I want to be an actor. Yeah. You know, What's work? 
Well, when you can get it, you know. Sometimes I've been, you get a lot of it. I've been semi-retired since I'm 18 years old. <laughs> you know, a good year for for me is about 14 weeks. Yeah, mm, I should have semi-retired. You, you know. Yeah. I mean that. Uh, you know, that's another reason why I like being actor because I don't like working. <laughs> <laughs> I, I get it. Um, unfortunately for us, we got to keep working. But you know, the, I think the pace feels well, you longer. Got, you know, you got the perfect face for radio. I've heard that. Yeah. Wait, this is the third shot. I'm not there's, there's no heavy lifting. You know, heavy lifting you know what, now, from now on, I'm going to call that number at four o'clock in the morning. Yeah, hey, yeah, Joe, you yeah, awake? Yeah. Um, <laughs> from the Vine is the closing film at the Fort Lauderdale International Film Festival Sunday night. No, no, it's uh, what time is it? Really? November four p.m. Four p.m. That's not night time. Well, it's the closing film, yeah. Yeah, and it's... And You're really going to hold me to everything? <laughs> <laughs> I was out late last night. Where is it? Where, Saber where Cinema. Saber Cinema, yeah. and the tickets are still available. And then the wrap party is at the Following. Atlantic Hotel and Spa on the beautiful Ocean Terrace on the 5th. Now, party. I understand yes. that you're donating some of your wine for the party. <laughs> what now are we saying? <laughs> <laughs> I think that's a perfect oh, fit. A couple of nice Casanova vineyards, whatever you need. Nice yeah, little, the, little Montepulciano de Bruzzo. Monte, yeah, Montepulciano de Bruzzo. The backstory behind From the Vine, which I get away from that conversation, <laughs> Is I'd love to give you some wine. Oh, you can. <laughs> <laughs> I had to drive 45 minutes. <laughs> I want you to know this. I donated a ton for a big charity event this weekend, so I'll pull a couple. Well, things charity out. begins at home. <laughs> <laughs> Very true. From the Vine is. I, I, I only saw like a two-second trailer, so I don't know a whole lot about the movie. But is it that you inherit a, a, a vineyard? No, it's 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 a it's a it's a fable. It's a it's about a guy you know late in life, an executive who made a lot of money. Um, who's running a company now and uh, and made a promise on the deathbed of his mentor uh, to do the right thing by this guy's vision. Uh, he is forced to go the corporate way and in doing so mm. he has he has um, a breakdown, emotional breakdown and winds up going back to the country where he was born 60 years ago. Mm. So he goes home after after 50-year absence. Wow. And, and then he's a superhero, right? He flies through, that's... It. No, no. Okay, that's different. <laughs> <laughs> Fly through the vineyards. <laughs> it's funny, though. I love a small movie and a, and a movie that tells well, these a story. Are, that's what's so wonderful about these films. Yeah, that's, that's what I... Yeah. These movies don't get to be seen. Um, and that's how, how that's how we wind up being discovered, is, is by, by doing these festivals. And it's a real audience pleaser. We've won a lot of awards. I'm going to, I'm going to Poland next week with it. Uh, that, that's an that's, award? Uh, no, there's a fe you know there's a festival uh, there's many festivals in Poland. Is it going to play in Italy? Italy? Uh, we we, two, we were in two festivals in yes. Italy, and, and it, it was bought by Ra, so it, it it's going to open in, in Italy. It, it's a co-production. It was made in Canada <coughs> and and Italy, and so it's an Italian, uh, uh, Canadian, American cast. Wow. And the, and the cool thing is is that these countries. They they actually have um, uh, where they where they support the creative arts and support little movies like this and they actually give you money to make these these movies make this kind of content because with the technology as it is today you can make these movies cheaper than you could five years ago mm -hmm. we wouldn't have been able to make a story like this it would be too small. You know, most in this not all can't all be marvels. It can't all be well, marvel movies because because they want to protect their financial investment, mm -hmm. and, and and Hollywood was you know was always about making product that they wanted to see. Mm -hmm. You know, making content uh, in the old days, and and that's why you know the the, the advent of, of new technology and a lot of short movies like like. Uh, uh, Fliff, uh, Fort Lauderdale International Film Festival. Fliff works better. Yeah. yeah, they do. They do a whole new um, division on short films, like seven-minute movies. Yeah. Seven-minute movies, because as our attention span diminishes, you know, as we get dumber and dumber, <laughs> and, and as, yeah. as corporations continue to dumb us down and and give us the garbage that we want, uh, you know, our attention span gets smaller and smaller. So you know. You know, you're in, in two-minute movies, three-minute movies, five-minute movies. <laughs> but this is one to see. Uh, Joey Pants is here. The movie's called From the Vine. It's being screened Sunday at the Savor Cinema, cinema uh, at 4 o'clock. F-L-I-F-F dot com. More with Joey Pants. We've got to talk a little about Matrix 
and I'm going to talk a little Sopranos when we come back.